Hey everybody, just wanted to go over some of the um, next steps here for Rip City. So uh, we, our lease ends at the end of August in our current uh, location and we've been there three years now <clears throat> and um, I was hoping at this point that uh, we would be a little more uh, self-sufficient. I'm going to go over some of the um, expenses and numbers so you can kind of see uh, what we've had to do um, in the three years that we've been in this spot. Uh, but I just got the news that we won't be able to go month to month. I was hoping that they wouldn't fill our spot and we could stay a little bit longer month to month. Um, but the rent is increasing and we already don't make our rent for the last three years. Um, so it's unattainable to stay in our current location <clears throat> without some type of change. So <clears throat> The uh, first thing I want to go over is just kind of our uh, fixed expenses. All right, so our uh, rent right now is th right around three thousand a month, and um, we also have a startup loan that's around twelve hundred a month. So that was for forty thousand uh, dollars that I got back in the beginning to help us with operating expenses, and you'll see a chart. Uh, that shows where most of that 40000 went. It also went to the build-out in the beginning of uh, our Hoops Heaven gym. So that included the baskets, the court, the paint on the court, um, all the uh, insulation covering that we had to put up uh, to make sure it was safe to breathe in there. Uh, we rented a Skylift that cost us $1,000. Um, so there's a pretty significant amount of startup. It was about 10,000 in stuff there. Uh, and so we had about 30,000 left from that to help us with, um, operating expenses, uh, until we got up and running. So, uh, that's where that startup loan comes from. That, uh, startup loan, uh, is in my name. So I will pay it regardless of whether Rip City ever goes forward or not. I will have that 1200, um, myself. Uh, we have insurance, so it's about 500 a month. <clears throat> uh, electricity is around 500 a month. Utilities about 100, internet 100. A facility upkeep around 300. Um, I know that might seem a little expensive, but uh, there's a lot that goes into uh, keeping the gym uh, cool and uh, fixed and um, just maintaining just restrooms and things like that. Uh, and then we usually have a miscellaneous of about 100, and that's like fire inspections. Um, all kinds of things like that that we have routine stuff that goes in and so those are our fixed expenses these don't count um, any of our tournament costs or um, anything like that so those are variable expenses because we don't know exactly how much we're going to have each month all right so um, it's my goal uh, to get a base fee of a hundred dollars a month from each person that's why in July I went up to 125 and then the other 25 goes to um, the variable costs for, for tournaments and whatnot uh, so if we're looking at, even though we haven't always got an, uh, exactly 100 from every player as a base fee, uh, you can still see with this chart just kind of as an estimate um, where we've been and where we've grown. So our very first month uh, opening was November 2021, and we had 17 monthly paying members that month. Um, the red line is the uh, represents the break-even spot, so the 5,800 um, that we need to break even. So you can see uh, we did pretty good progressive growth all the way through until um, September 2023. We made it right over that mark by a couple hundred bucks. Um, at that point, I hired um, three coaches. Uh, uh, Janine actually started in May 2023. September, I hired two more uh, because having 62 monthly members is hard for me and Janine to just keep up with. So we hired two more um, they only stayed around for a few months. Uh, it just didn't work out and uh, it did affect us uh, significantly. And so you can kind of see that uh, we've had trouble getting back to that spot um, with where we're at with, with, with help and just possibly with, with just gym capacity in general um, because we don't have that, that full court ability. So there's a lot of reasons why, but you can kind of see, um, you know, I was pretty uh, – pretty excited in September thinking that we had reached a spot that, Hey, at least if we stay around this threshold, I won't have to be putting in my own money um, every single month. 
uh, but we weren't able to continue that. So um, if you kind of just go through this uh, chart and see the estimate of um, the amount of money that we have had to make up for, it's about $43,000 in the last three years, just to, just to our base fees. Uh, this says, like I said, doesn't count tournaments, doesn't count marketing. So I put a decent amount of marketing towards our girls team. I put marketing towards um, different events that we've had. That, all that money comes straight from my pocket. Um, so 43,000 on top of, um, you know, we had about 30,000 left from that uh, loan. So the other 13,000 has just been straight money from me. I have sold uh, $10,000 in stocks to keep us open. Um, the last of which was in June when we had our uh, 2024 here. Uh, I just sold the last of the stock that I had available for sale to keep us open. Um, we had a huge drop after um, our Disney tournament. And uh, it's been pretty significantly financially imp impactful on my family. Um, at this point, I, I couldn't sign another lease, so we uh, will not be able to stay in this building. Um, I think that there's a significant opportunity for us going forward, and that's why I'm really excited. There is a uh, warehouse facility in Dade City, uh, not too far from where we're currently located, so it wouldn't be too um, much of a change for most of our clients. Um, and it's 10,000 square feet, and the uh, square foot cost is $8.50 per a square foot per year. Okay, uh, Right now, we're paying thirteen fifty per square foot per year. Um, so 10,000 is, is pretty large right now. We only have about 4,000 square feet, I think, or no, 2,500 square feet, um, is what we have right now. So, um, 10,000 square feet would allow us to have two full courts. Uh, the owner won't parcel it down into less than 10,000. So we would have to be able to apply that. It's about uh, 7,200 a month in rent. So we need the first and last month's rent to start off. That's 15,000. Um, and then we probably need some operating costs. Uh, well, we'd also need some of the build out costs because we'd have to double our um, our gym up. So we need a few more baskets. We need some more flooring um, and just a few things like that. So that's probably looking at, uh, you know, around 10,000 for that uh, type of build out stuff. Um, so optimistically, just for the first month, we need $25,000. Um, so we can get in there uh, by in, immediately. There's multiple 10,000 square foot sections open. It's not even really a concern about when we get in there. Um, so for me, I have started a, a GoFundMe campaign that goes directly to Chapel Rib City. Um, it's a, it, we have to get 60,000 for the um, campaign to go through. Uh, and that 60,000 allows us for the 25,000 for the first month and then 35,000 uh, in operating costs for us to hopefully catch up and uh, be able to <clears throat> um, uh, make money in this new spot we'd definitely be able to host our own tournaments with two full uh gyms i think we can easily start um bringing in a significant amount of revenue even if we host free tournaments and just do 15 dollars um per, per parent uh watching uh you know we do that uh, there's a lot of other um tournament providers that are doing it that way and i think we could do it that way easily and, and make money uh, but we have to have some money coming in to be able to get started. We're not going to be able to do this um, with with any current financing capabilities that I have. Uh, so that's the that's the option that I think is best going forward. Um, I think that you know even though we have to be out August thirty first, if September we are still working to raise that sixty thousand, uh, I am able to definitely rent in a, some gym space and we can do some outdoor stuff and <clears throat> and uh, use some YMCA space in Lakeland for just that month. Uh, to keep our con congruence, uh, congruency with our teams together. Um, and, you know, as long as we have a good vision for what we want to get open, hopefully by um, October, uh, I don't think that's too big a deal. It really depends on how much uh, everybody wants to put in. So we're at 44 members right now in the gym, and we're going to need 44 members to go out there, all 44 members to go out there and try and find people who are going to be able to help with this. Um, so this is, uh, the option that I think is best. Uh, the GoFundMe is already live and linked. So, uh, after watching this video, hopefully you can share it and maybe we find somebody that, uh, you know, wants to be a significant donor uh, GoFundMe automatically gives you a donor receipt. So anybody can uh, pay that out for their taxes. Um, I am not against other options. But uh, I encourage, you know, if anybody else wants to look around and find us, I mean, if you can find a church that wants to get us in, 
That would be fantastic. Uh, uh, many of our competitors have absolute free access to their gyms. So hard to guard, Chris at hard to guard. He, he and I have been very close for many years. I asked him questions um, about his program and he's given me a lot of advice because they've been in operation for 30 years. They have six free gyms they can use at any time. They're church gyms and they're, it's part of a church program. Hard to guard was built through um, a church program. So they, they have six free gyms. They don't pay any rent ever. Uh, so that's what we're competing against. Um, it allows some of these programs to keep their prices even lower. I try to keep the price extremely low, uh, but you can obviously see that it's done nothing. It's it's kept us in the red for a long time. Um, but uh, I'm not against. You know, if if we have somebody that's going to give us an option to be able to get in somewhere cheaper, if you find a warehouse that we can build out uh, with what we currently have, you know, it, it, that's comparable, that's uh, cheaper per square foot. Um, I'm definitely willing to move into another spot, but, um, the closer you get to tamper that cost per square foot is going to be closer to $20 per square foot. Um, I've, I'm not saying I'm the best researcher in the world and I'm not a real estate agent. Um, but I have done a considerable amount of research on this topic for the last five years. And I don't know what options we have, um, besides trying to raise a significant amount of money, uh, to get us into, a new facility that can generate revenue that can keep us going long term. Um, again, I'm open to all options and I'll explore anything. So please feel free to to be creative and come up to me. Um, this is, like I said, it's a nonprofit. It's a community a program. And at this point, we need the community uh, in all aspects to help us be able to be successful. Um, thank you, guys. If you have any questions, obviously, I'll be willing to talk at, at, at any time. Um, you, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, talk to you guys later, and uh, we'll at, at least be able to finish our August to schedule out for August and, and have some good playing time. So thank you, guys.